One of the big ideas of elementary math education, perhaps the biggest idea, is that of place value. We teach place value to our kids every single year, and every year we complain that they just don't seem to get it. I think it's important to acknowledge that our way of teaching computation has traditionally got in the way of understanding place value. We are inadvertently uh, missing opportunities for what the numbers are worth. Let's take, for instance, the number 135. When I say 135, then I am naming the values of these numbers from left to right. But as soon as I start to add or subtract with this number, I start calling the 100 a 1. I start calling the 30 a 3. And when I do that, vital information is missing about the quantities that we're involving in the computation. And if we don't know what the quantities are, how do we know if our result is reasonable? I think we can help the kids break the habit of calling numbers by their digit name and get into calling them by their values by invoking some bodily kinesthetic connections. For instance, place value in base 10 has increasing magnitude right to left by 10 each time we go to a new place. When I say these numbers, I'm going to increase the volume of my voice to match the increasing magnitude of value such that when I say a number in the tens column, I'm going to say it with a louder voice than a number in the ones column. I will say 30 like this, 30. And I want to emphasize that it's 10 to the first power, a powerful number, and I'll make a bicep muscle and say 30. And then I'll add some affect to it, 30. And that's how we'll say numbers in the tens column. And when we say a number in the ones column, we're going to say it, but it's going to get a much smaller voice. The five is going to sound like this, five. And the muscle it gets is just going to be a pinky. So here's what the ones column looks like, five. On the other hand, when we go to the 100, it's 10 to the second power, so we're going to make two bicep muscles and say it even more loudly, like this, 100. So when I say the entire number, I will say 135. And I think this will help the kids match up what the values are and will increase their understanding. When we know what the place values are, it opens up lots of different options for mental computation. I challenge you, add a little drama to your classroom by calling numbers by their values. I call them muscle numbers. Your next video will be showing how to connect up the concrete manipulations of addition and subtraction with the abstract representations. Uh, most teachers complain that kids are not making those connections, so this video will show how to make those explicit connections. Thank you.